Lillian Jackson. Wonderful to see you, roses. Thank you so much. I brought these to you now. Uncle Henry, it's past my bedtime. Me I too. Stand up, and I'm going to have to kind of read this poem about things that you and I have kind of discussed from time to time. All right. And so this is a poem. A rose is a rose is a rose, and I'm a rose. To Uncle Henry, opponent of communism, devil worship, and immoral behavior, and whom I'm proudly to consider a worthy fellow crusader. Dark recesses hide secret meetings and committees, resulting in done deals and taxes that are public defeating. Such things provide cause for Uncle Henry's fight to throw out demons and devils and turn on lights. But as to his fight against immoral behavior, throw in the towel. It's a job for the savior. Another chief problem, and that's a pun, is that crime finally has a home in the sun. Suppressed public stats and swiped notes murders a crime fighter's trusting hopes. Arrogance and madmen and tyranny all around, not just in Iraq, or crazed Husseinites found. The Saddam Council that sits in Mobile's rotunda is individually and collectively one big blunder. A book could be written on the follies of Jane. Of all the gall, she shrieked, I'm a pain. <laughs> Having been banished from one place and another, scorned by scores and loved only by my mother, Uncle Henry <laughs> empathized <laughs> with my ongoing plight and declared me unique on his show one night. So in spite of all the BS heaped upon me by foes, Uncle Henry thinks I smell like a rose. <laughs> and so I brought you these roses called to show if you cast your petals upon the water, you'll get a whole bouquet. Wonderful. I, don't you think the cinnamon is sweet? The, sw the cinnamon <laughs> is wonderful, and your poem, just like a rose, is beautiful and yet has its thorns. Oh, so I left the thorns on it. And jabs that city council. Well, that no offense to Irma Teen.